Good morning. Wow, wasn't that cool? I'm going to do some magic for you today, right? Whoa, Teresa's going to be my assistant. Are we cute or what? So I know you can't wait to see the quilt, right? Yeah. You're so excited, you can't wait. Yes. Okay, you ready to help me, Teresa? Okay. One, two, three. three. <laughs> it's invisible. <laughs> yes, it's invisible, isn't it? It's invisible. Oh my gosh, it's invisible. But we have such a great show, and I can't wait to show you the quilt. Are you ready for some magic? Yes. I don't have my wand. Will you tap your wand on my sleeve and see what I can find? Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, this is a start. Anybody know what it's going to be? Huh? <laughs> it's going to be a quilt. Well, this is this is the big block. Pardon me. Crisscross. Oh, crisscross. That's a guess. Okay, I, I need another tap on this sleeve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the little one. Ooh. You're going to have two sizes today. You're going to have, this is going to be a little 10-inch block, and this is going to be a little 14-inch block. Anybody know yet? Okay, Tony has the patterns. He's going to pass them out. You, thank you. You may not open the patterns or look. And I deliberately put a blank page on it. <laughs> so you wouldn't see it. It's so like your exam. Yes, yes, you're not allowed to open them. And somebody want to help Brian, you want to help Tony pass so we get him done real fast. He's busy taking pictures, huh? Okay. Well, I am going to start the magic. Doo doo. It's just magic using the AccuQuilt cutter. Anyways, right? Okay. And it's magic if I can turn it on. Oh, we're, it's magic. We're going to turn it on with a little electricity. <laughs> I have more blocks in here, I feel. Oop. <laughs> I hope they don't fall out. <laughs> okay, plug it in. So we're going to use the 8 cube today. The 8 cube. I'm going to start out with the 8 cube. And I'm going to start out with the large one, okay? The large one, and what's so easy, you're not gonna believe there's only three dies in it. Three dies. There's quarter square triangle, half square triangle, and strip, right? Do you know what it is yet? No. <laughs> That's good. All right, so how are we doing here? Okay. Difficulty, but it's good. Okay. okay. So let me have the dies. Present the dies. Okay, now this would be the first one. This is called uh, the quarter square. I want the half square. Ooh. Okay, now do you have your pattern? No. You may look at page two, and that's all. It's magic. Ooh, and there's all the sizes of the dies. The first one is the half square triangle. The half square triangle, I have taken, what am I talking about? Teresa took and cut me four light squares four squares. This is the half square triangle. Okay, so this is going to be magical because you just put it on the die. How many of you are new and never saw this magic? Some of you are new. When I do this, I totally expect you to get excited. Okay, the go big is turned on with a very slight push of the hand. 
I am cutting eight half square triangles. That's magical, right? <laughs> that is magical. Okay, so just take it and remember, hold it down, give it a spin. That's so you don't mess it all up. <gasps> Woo! So you just take all the little trimmings, all the little one fourth inch trimmings, and pull it away. <laughs> Ta da! And look at that. Magic? Go, ooh! Okay, that's the first set. Okay. So I'm going to put this right by my sewing machine. And now the second bit of magic. I have light and dark. Ooh, red. Light and dark. Two pairs, right sides together, ready for sewing, yes. right? OK. Well, yeah, first I have to have cut. To cut first I will cut, and then I will sew. OK, you ready? <laughs> Okay, so push them right through. Ooh. Ready. Set. Set. Go. And that's all I'm going to cut right now. Good? Are you happy? Yeah. Two dies. Two dies. And this is what we're going to make. Ooh. How about that? You need a, a quarter of an inch. And I need my book so I can show you all set up. And now you see, you may turn to page four. And you guys watch each other and make sure nobody cheats and looks. OK? Oops, I'm sorry. Don't go to page four. Don't look. Skip all those pages. Oh, no, I told you. You look. I screwed up all the magic. <laughs> Pretend you didn't see anything. Go to page eight. My artist wasn't going to put those pages in, and Eddie did it the last minute. He just didn't get the, get the game. OK? OK, so now I'm on page eight, and you didn't look at the quilt, right? And I'm starting with my quarter squares. A nice stack. Look at that good red and white. Ta-da! OK, so I need to have my stiletto. This is a good one. And since these are already right sides together, if you look right on the first page, it says that you can flip them. You can make two stacks of white and red, right? Mm -hmm. But it says to flip them right sides together. Magical! Skip right to step three. And just pick those up. OK, I need the first two. OK, one stack. Wow, look at me. I feel naked up here. Where's the front? It's down there. OK, guess what I'm doing? Do you see what I'm doing? I'm picking up my pears. And I'm sewing them with light on top, right? Light. And you just keep on going. And assembly line, sew right through all of these light on top with red that are what size triangles? Quarter square. You guys are all watching Teresa move the table. Right? <laughs> Quarter square triangles. OK. So I'm going to show Eric. Ta-da! Does it look just like your picture? Yep. Yep. Looks like just, just like your picture. Yep. OK, now this is tricky, tricky, tricky. I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to just open my red, my dark, and press to the dark. Press to the dark. Simple, huh? Yes. All right. Simple. One, two, three. And you could do that whole stack, except you're watching me. <laughs> and so I'm going to just cut those apart with my scissors, because I don't see my um, cutting gizmo. That was good. Quarter square. 
We're already half done. Yeah. Is it that fun? Okay, yeah. so now we're just going to lay it out like the picture that you see. And it's going to go like this. And now I need these right here. And I'm going to do it for me so I can see. Like this. And like that. Yes. Yes. Is that right? Yes. That's right. Okay, so now I'm just going to take these. Did anybody guess what the pattern is yet? <laughs> Only the who looked. <laughs> Shame on you. I told Merritt we should have stapled that all together. And he wouldn't do it. <laughs> he said they might ruin their page. Yeah, true. Okay, so I'm just going to take this. I have the two sets that we cut. They're ready for flipping right sides together. And the seam is going towards the dark. So there's no seam to fight, no wrestling with the seam. And so just go right down along like this. Ta-da! And just keep on assembly line sewing. Flip it, right sides together. How we doing? Is this easy? It is so easy. It's so easy, but it took us about a month to do the pattern. <laughs> we were really working hard on it. All right, and so all I have are three, and I'm just gonna stop at three. And I want you to look. And so how are we supposed to press the seam? Toward the background. Toward the background. Yay! OK, cut your threads. OK. And, and I'm just going to open them up. Look at that good old red thread. It matches. Open it up. Press it toward the background. Two. Doesn't look like a pinwheel to me. What are you guys talking about? There. Doesn't look like a pinwheel. All right. Hmm. So I'm going to just cut these apart like so. Do do, do do, like so. And now. Did I finish that page? Yes. Okay, now you get to look on the next page. Page nine. Page nine. This is the third piece that you need. You need, ooh, dark blue. Beautiful, like so. And so it, it was cut into a 12 inch strip. It's two and a half inches wide. You can cut it with your two and a half inch strip cutter. It's two and a half by 12 and a half. That's all in the cutting chart. Fold it right sides together. Crease it. Open it. And then look at this. You're just going to line up the little seams with the crease. Hmm. Doesn't look like a pinwheel to me. <laughs> right? Not yet. Not yet. OK, so I'm going to line this up and just flip this right sides together. Line up the crease. OK, I got it hanging out on both ends. Whoa, let me see. So just hold it down with your stiletto. And this seam is going up, but it's just going to lay, it's going to lock together in the end. OK, so put this like this. Hold that seam down. Stitch right across there. And finish it down. Ta-da! Magic! Cut the thread. Who said, yes, it's magic? It's magic. OK, so now I'm going to just take this and I'm just going to open it. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that looks good. 
one half already done. And now I'm just going to take the other side, flip it right sides together. And now I know that that little crease, sometimes it slips right there. So this is what I'm going to do. You have marks. It says make sure you line up straight across here. Yes. Straight across here. Make sure it's all lined up. And look at this. Right over here, if you lock those seams, see? Yeah. This is seams going up. That's going the other way. If you lock that, then you'll know this piece is lined up exactly with the other piece. Cool. It's magic. <laughs> it's magic. And you guys are going, what is she doing? Huh? I took this out of um, an old book. And I thought, oh, it looked like a lot of fun to do. So I decided to try it. Oh, Teresa's standing there. She's got the press. She's got the iron. OK, so we're just going to do it just like that. And cut the threads again. You're going to do four just like this. Open it up and press it away. OK? <coughs> it doesn't look like anything to me. Looks cool, though. Like, like this? Like this? How's it supposed to go? Huh? OK. Now, Teresa is going to press. Is your iron hot? Mm -hmm. OK, you're waiting to cut those other pieces. No, you can cut <laughs> Cut those pieces. Ooh. All right. So beautiful, beautiful. And now we have to square them up. And I am going to, this looks just like on page nine, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now flip the page, turn the page. Doo -doo. Okay, now we're going to, this is actually the big patch. So we're going to square it up to seven and a half inches. Seven and a half inches, just like that. The best ruler is the nine and a half inch, but I don't see it on the table. So a 12 will do, right? Yeah. We want to square this up to seven and a half inches. So the line down, the diagonal line right down along here, Teresa's going to find it. The diagonal line goes right on the seam. Ooh, ah, ooh, magic, it appeared. OK, just like that, see? Can you see the diagonal line going along the seams? OK. And it's, it's a lot, it's very, not much to trim away. If you like to sew with a scant quarter, that would be great to sew with like a scant quarter. Are we going to use the ruby red? Okay, so when you square up, you put number one in the upper right corner, diagonal line, seven and a half. See how little there is to trim up? So trim up one side. And down the other. Ta da! Da da! Da da! Get rid of that. Okay, cool. now tip up your ruler, kind of lean it against your body. Take the two corners you trimmed and whoop them around. Make that noise when you're doing it. <laughs> whoop! Looking good. That's just like your book, right? Now you put seven and a half along the outside edge, like so. Line up the diagonal line, seven and a half here. Not much to trim. Up, across, take rid of this. And that's done. Was that easy? Thank you, thank you. OK, now I will see. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bird in here. <laughs> I'm looking for the next pieces. Did I drop them on the floor? Did you? Did you? 
I don't know. They're, are they? Oh, I know where they are. <laughs> I swear they were. I put them in my sleeve. And they fell? <laughs> there they are. There it is. Where? There it is. No, it's on your right it's coming. Right, right. It's got coming out. I told you I did that. <laughs> I knew I didn't. I will never do very well on the magical circuit, right? I was trying to have fun. <laughs> okay. Okay. So guess what I have here now? I have four quarters, right? Four of them? Four of them? Cool? Yeah. Four of them. Okay, oh, but I was just ready to press, Teresa, because oh. I got my pieces all wrinkled while they were up my sleeve. <laughs> okay, so whenever I just now pressed my pieces, how did I press them? Toward the back, of, with, the iron. Toward the back of, with the iron. Fine, <laughs> Tina. That was very magical, wasn't it? <laughs> Tina said I pressed them with the iron, and you're right, I did. But now I'm going to repress because they're all wrinkled. There are press just the stripe out. out. Now I'm pressing out. I'm pressing two of them. And so everything locks together. I'm going to take the second two that are going to go into this block and press those seams in. Ooh, this is the magic. Everything's going to lock together. You know how I am with spinning. Okay, so then press this one. See, I have nothing else up my sleeve. It's all out on the table now. Okay, so Teresa says, don't burn me. Okay. <laughs> I am going to take these and show you the magic. You are ready for the unveiling. All right, turn the page. Are you on page 12? Yes. Okay, so this is what it says. You take two for a block and you press your seams out. You take two more and you press your seams in. Okay? So I've got two and two. And now, whenever you lay them out, you lay this one. Just watch. Get ready for, ooh, ah. <laughs> this is the seams pressed out. And beside it, the seams pressed in. And opposite, seams pressed in over here. Ooh. And in this spot, seams pressed out. And now, ta da! Is that magical? I think it's magical. It is. I think it's just amazing that what we did, and it makes, those, makes that really cool block. Okay, so we're good now. So now I'm just going to take. Clear everything away and just sew this block, take it, flip it right sides together. The magic is these are the opposites. This is in, this is out. These lock together. Ooh. Ooh. And let me see. See how good I can do <laughs> now that I wrinkled them all up. Okay. So the thing is that this is on the bias. The outside edges is on, on the bias, and sometimes it's to your advantage because when the bias, when it's the bias, you can stretch these to meet as far as you want to go. And sometimes you have to. <laughs> so I'm lining them up, 
and I want to make sure that the seams sink in with each other. Right here, I'm going to move it around a little bit. It's sunk in, the top one sunk into the bottom one. Right here, there is nothing to line up and match. And so now right here there is, the seams are going in the opposite direction, right in the pinwheel. Just peel it back, line it up, and then keep on going. Okay, and then it's the same thing, but the second one, roll it back. I like to just roll it back and look at it. And then when I know it's right, just roll it in together and hold it down. Use your stiletto. It works great. Line it up right after it. And then right down here, they're going to lock. Oh, boy, this is cool. So I'm going to stretch this one about a half inch. No. <laughs> so I lock it together. And it's just perfect. It lines up. So well, and let's see, one more down, and then you can just have to, if you have to pull a little bit on the bottom so it lines up in the outside edges, it's pretty amazing. All right, halfway. So I actually, no, I didn't do this from the start, did I? Okay, like so. Open it up. Ooh. You can go real close, Eric. Ooh. Ooh, pretty good, huh? They line up good? They do. Okay, now just flip it right sides together. And then get it all lined up here. And go the opposite way. And hold those seams. Lock it where you have to. At the center, this is for the swirling. Push the top seam up and the underneath seam down. And one more. Line up. I, I, um, Teresa and I worked on this in the sewing room this past week, and it was kind of like a trick. And then it was a trick, and then once she got onto it, she really said, Oh, this isn't so bad. It goes pretty fast. You just have to get used to it. All right, done. One done. Thank you, thank you. Is that good? It's very, very pretty. Oh, I bet you want to see what it looks like. Do we have those quilts with us? We really have those quilts. Okay, swirling. So you know that you push the top seam up and the underneath seam down. And there's a little connecting thread right there. So you take your scissors and cut that thread. It's just a little, one little thread that's connecting. And then there are some stitches in the seam, usually about three of them. And if you just take your seam ripper and just lift them out, whoop, and then turn them over. And on the other side, is Eric really close? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm being steady, Eric. Okay, and pick those out. Let me see back here. Uh, I can't tell if that's red fabric or red thread. Okay. Okay, then you just lay the block flat and you swirl clockwise. And so if you start here and you lay this down going clockwise, and then keep on going down. That's three o'clock. At six o'clock, you really see action. And you just push it around and up. And you've got, then you start to like 
poke it right in the middle. And you open that little thing up right in the middle and you mush it. Mush it, mush it, mush it, mush it, mush it good. Mush it. And now look, look how it looks on the other side. It just all lines up great. Yay! And now we press it again, and then we get to show the quilts. You want to see the quilts? Yes. Okay, you're going to love them. Okay, so let's just, once it's all poked out, once it's all mushed, then just go around like this, and around, around, around right around the center and push it, mush it right here, press it good here and then flip it over and just do it good on the other side. Ooh, beautiful. All right, Missy, do we have quilts? And now you know it's pinwheel. <laughs> Okay. You want to see it? Isn't that nice? It's very pretty. You want to see it in, in finished? Yes. Okay. Okay, we're going to finish it. Actually, I have four Teresa over in my sewing machine, but I, I forgot to bring them. But four anyhow, one. For the blocks. I did a little one. It was a test. I just wanted to find out. And that's oh, what I did. I like that. I did it for Fourth of July. I like that. I'm gonna celebrate. Can you see the four <coughs> blocks? Mm -hmm. The four blocks. It four, goes five, together. Five. Five? five? No, it's really four. four. four? Oh, wow. It's four. Three. Yes. We it's. Were I know it makes yeah. five, but it's yeah. four blocks. We were looking at it the wrong way. Deceiving Four us. blocks. And you Judy us Judy Jackson did the quilting for me uh -huh. and she pinned her label on uh -huh. just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. But that one was my first one. I had a lot of fun doing it. I like it. You know, oh, Teresa went to get my blocks. <laughs> she see if she can find them. Okay. This one I thought it would be really good on my birthday, don't you think? Yeah. And so I'm all ready to celebrate. Oh. I've got my balloons and ta da! Okay, this is the one that I just made. This and it's still the blocks. It's the same block. But how many blocks are there? Six. Okay, on page two and three, you will see the finished quilt and the yardage. You weren't supposed to look at that earlier, but I screwed up. Okay, so that's two and three. And this is the larger block. This is the 14 inch block. It uses cube eight. Teresa, would you hold that one up? This is the smaller block and come side by side so they can see the difference. This only uses cube six but it's exactly the same. That block is only 10 inches. And that uses the cube eight or? This is six cube and this is eight. And it really doesn't matter what cube you do have. You can just use cube two and cube three, right? Or three and four, three and four. Three and four and then a strip in between. It would, wouldn't it be fun to see the 12 cube? Whoa, those, it'd be like windmill size out there, huh? Okay, so, okay, these are only three colors. Brian, I'm so glad you guys have so many questions, but I need to ask, what's your question? What was the strip size you used on the uh, six-inch block? The strip size was two inch. We're going to show you even more. Two, two, it was cut two. The Yes, the pattern says two inch strip. And then the eight, eight cube, we use the two and a half inch. 
these are just three fabrics, right? I decided it was too fat. <laughs> you have to test everything. So Patty said, oh, Elle, wouldn't it be cute with lots of color in it? Oh, Patty color. Oh. <laughs> okay, Patty, we'll find out if it's pretty in lots of colors. Wanna find out? Yes. Okay, so we'll put these aside. That was just so much fun. And, and I just really did, um, I just used what I had around. Look at this, new line of fabric. Yes, garden party. Little check, is that cute? Every single piece is in this quilt. Are you ready? Yes, I know you can't wait. Ta da! Oh. It looks like a garden party. Yes. Good. This is, isn't that fun? So, pardon, yes, this is the six inch. And it's with, a ch with five inch squares. You can do it out of a charm pack. But wait, there's more. It's, and this one, is a two inch strip. This was a six cube, same thing, but a two inch strip. And whenever I did it, I actually put all of my pinwheels on the wall, which we'll show you. And then I auditioned the green and I said, yeah, I like that green. That's just what you need for the garden, huh? So anyhow, I love it. And um, Amy quilted it. You can see all of the cute, she did swirling. It's really, really cute. Yeah, really cute. And um, I like the little check for the binding. Okay, I'll hold this one and Teresa, <laughs> Teresa gets to show hers and you will see the difference. Pardon me? Um, it's 16. Yeah, it's six. No, it's 12. 12, but it's 16 uh, five inch squares, right? 18. We'll look, at, we'll look at the pattern. <laughs> okay, I think this it's pattern is it's 24. On, in the next two pages, 24. I forgot. <laughs> it was so long, it's been a blur. Okay, turn your pages, and you will see this one. Right there. Right there. And the yardage. And it says, it says, um, charm pack, how many five-inch squares does it say? 24. You were right, <laughs> Teresa. Teresa remembered. 24. But it's really interesting because you get half blocks. It looks like half blocks. But they're not really half blocks. We'll show you that. Okay, ready to see Teresa's? Yes. Okay, give her a, give her a. Oh! oh. <laughs> and turn around and show them both. Okay, she used a charm pack. And it just so happened that there were two similar colors, two values of the squares. And that's what she put together. So it's best if you pick out the brightest colors that you can out of your charm pack. If you buy a charm pack, how many little five inch squares are there? 40, 40 and sometimes 42. So you only need to have 24. You would be able to um, eliminate the very lights or you could even use them for the background. And I did check, Quilt in a Day does have a charm pack of just plain white five inch squares. Ooh, even easier, easier. So what do you think? You like them? Aren't they fun? I think they're really, really fun. We're magical, aren't we? We're magical. Show your back. Oh, I love the quilting. Wow. And Amy did this one too. Amy got into it. She's got her. She has a quarter for a label though. Is there anything written on it? No. Not yet. Not yet. She didn't have enough yeah, she didn't have enough time. Okay, so Teresa, let's show them how to cut with the um, six cube, the charm squares, and then we'll put these we'll put these on the design wall. 
so you can see them. Go back to page three, I believe, and it shows this is shape three with the um, little 10 inch blocks, right? It's on page two. On page two, it's on page two. Okay, it's on page two. I did put them where it says the 10 inch block. Yeah. Okay, what size are the half square triangles? Three inch finished. Three inch finished. And they're rough cut at four and three quarters. Three, four and three quarters. To make a block, you need to have four of them. And the best thing is to just stack them all right side up before you cut them. That way, if you have them left, right, left, right, it's a, you can screw up on, <laughs> on, background. on the background. Ask me. <laughs> I've done it a lot. Okay, so they are rectangles. I'm going to show Eric what the die looks like before I cut. Okay, this is the half square triangle, shape three. Four pieces are stacked up. And so all you have to do... I'll, I'm going to show off, okay? I'm going to cover those, put the label on the side, okay? Good. And then the second shape that you need is shape four. four. Shape four for what's, what triangle? The quarter square triangles, okay? The quarter square triangles. And it's best, you can do it really fast, remember? Light, dark, right sides together. Light, dark, right sides together. This is my line. And since you can stack six layers, you can do three pairs right now. Three pairs, six layers. This is the um, quarter inch die. We drew the little lines. If it's five inches squares, it might be a little bit bigger, just to center that right on there. And cover it up. And with the go big, I'm going to perform magic, I hope. Ta-da! And do them both. <laughs> go get your run. Woo! Is that good? Yes. Yeah. All right. So they are now ready for sewing exactly like we did with the, um, with the two, three colors. They're exactly the same. The sewing is exactly the same. And now go ahead and turn the page. Keep on going. And you will see the blocks on page 18. 18, page 18, yes. 18, 18. Now we're on the multicolored pinwheels. And I'm going to spin these. And they're, they're exactly the same. And right now, you're just going to make four pinwheels the same. You're not going to worry about four pinwheels the same. And Teresa, do you have your, your pieces ready to go? I do. You do? Okay. And you're going to work on the design wall? Oh, okay. Okay, remember they're sewn just exactly as I sewed them. With the quarter square and then the half square. Okay, and so Teresa has her pieces stacked in groups of four. See? Okay, now you're going to move it. Yeah, you're going to move it. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, you can move it. So I'll just, I'll just pick these up and just start with you. So when you have these four little pieces, it's almost like you set them together on point. And just think of the center point right in the middle like that. And that's, that's what four look like when you spin them all together. But what we're missing the strips in between. And so to do all these multiple colors, you really work on the design wall. 
Teresa had them all laid out on the design wall and she took a photograph because she said, oh no, she doesn't want to mess up <laughs> right while everybody's watching. Okay, so. Okay, so that's a very good idea <laughs> to um, go ahead and lay it all out. And laying it out did take some time, but it's well worth it. You can't just sit down and start sewing. You can use your design wall or your floor. And what I recommend is that you start right in the very center and build from the center out. And so she's just going to put... Is that right? Uh, make a, a pin with... with yeah, like that? There you go. Yes, that's right. And then... Pin and then that way, right? That's right. That is right. She started in the middle, and then it's actually on point. And now she has take a green. You're going to put a green. What kind of green? Then that right? The dark green. Dark green, and, and put it on the right, top right, top right, to just above at the top. Okay, go one up one. Yes, there you go. Green. And now go blue. <laughs> We're going to go <laughs> counterclockwise. What That's right. It? Blue. Are you sure we're following the picture, Elle? I'm sure. Okay. Blue. And now you need orange on the other side. And then you need blue at the, at the top. Okay. Um, Soft blue. I'm glad you asked. The blues, this is blue so big because we, I was trying to figure it out what to cut for uh, regular cutting. Okay, and yes, this was over so big. So that's why I have it so big, this one, okay? I did not do it with AccuQuilt. Oh. And then that's why I was trying to figure it out as I was sewing it. So we decided you can do this with your um, rotary cutter and ruler as well and do the same pieces. Okay. okay, so now we built one block right in the very center and can't you see now? See the turquoise is off to one side. So she can make um, she can make her pieces over to the side. See how big She's that is right here. <laughs> but yeah, this is why that's big. Put it the top right. Right here. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then the bottom is another one of the same. Mm hmm. Right Pink. here. Yep. Pink. Okay. Yes. And over in the left, it's green. This green? green. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm. No, it's over in the other side. What? It's at the top. It's, what top? It's, it goes right okay, up there. Oh. Okay. Okay. It would be better if she had it real close to her, huh? Yeah. Would you like to have the chart to yes. look at? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, what I can see, though, oh. is that she has that's a block yellow. See, that's yellow in, up there. In the top that's yellow. left. Okay. Oh, it's yellow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, she has, there are actually four blocks that she laid out. To sew this together, uh, we separated them into blocks. First, we laid out them on the diagonal so you could really see them. And then we separated them into blocks. And I'm going to, can I separate? Yeah, them? you separate it. Please <laughs> do. You're, you're just my about guess. ready. Okay, <laughs> so it's this. How about you finish that one and I'll okay. do that one. Okay, that's <laughs> awesome. Jedi. Yeah, there. Okay, there. And She's moving. She's moving. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Okay, so I figured out I like the 12 and a half inch ruler. But Teresa at actually got like a little design, um, design board. But, okay, then you separate them into blocks and that's your second picture on page 19. Ah, 
and then I carry them to the sewing machine on a ruler. And you just flip them off very carefully, exactly as you laid them. Uh, you with me? Okay. Okay, so here are my blocks, and I'm going to lay them out. Like this. That's a block. And um, she did two different colors in the center. And then your um, strips come next. Whoops. Oops. Okay, so what I found out, okay, I, I, I know how to do it. Oh, I'm not naked anymore. I've been clothed. Okay, so I um, now your strips come in between, and she has pressed them, and now you'll get to see what the block looks like, the little pinwheel in the center. And it's best if you just take and work clockwise around the outside edge, take this one, flip it right sides together, like a clock, go around the clock on the outside edge, and have a little glass of wine because, <laughs> okay, now do you see how they're all ready to sew on there? Okay, so if you start with this system, or if you want to take your phone, take your camera, and take a picture so you can always look back and see what you were doing. Okay, but you just take and pick them up, line up that center square with the seam, and just start assembly line sewing. It, was, it is easier if you do just um, three colors in the beginning, so you get a good idea of what you're doing, and then get a little adventurous, okay? So this is the first one. See how fast I can sew. This is the second one, just work clockwise. Always be consistent about it. And let's see. And then see if you ever remember to put it back out right, right? So whenever I was doing this, I just thought of my sister Patty because she is always fussing and doing all of this fussy work. And I, okay, I can do it, I can do it. Just hang in there. Okay, I'm on this one right here. We're on the other side going up. Match up that very center. Line up that seam. And so that crease really helps you keep it on your, um, fabric, and to square these up, we used the five and a half inch fussy cut ruler. Did you have a chance to get a fussy cut, poor girl? I do have a fussy cut. You do? And you have glow line tape? No, but I do. Okay. All right, so that is all five of them. I've all four of them, okay? All four I've gone around. Now, the best thing is to just go ahead and pull it back up to the top, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Okay, and let's see. This would be, how are we gonna do this? It wouldn't work that way very good. I think we should go counterclockwise. That's what I think. I'm going to pull it to the bottom. This was the last one, right? That seems towards the center. I'm going to put it right on there and sew it on. I'm going to go backwards now. This was um, the last one, and now I'm going to put it on the opposite side. And remember how you're supposed to um, match up the seam 
and the ends. We're going to look at the video and see if I get it all back on right. <laughs> Do you think I will? You will? I will. Am I right? Did you two took a picture? Huh? It's magic. It is. It's magic. It is very magical. It's just so hard to believe that in the end you get that pinwheel right in the center. And Teresa did say that she wanted to just, she said, forget all that stuff. Just do lattice in between, but you just won't get the same effect just to cut it apart. And I, I thought about that for a long time and I was really scared. And I said, oh my gosh, we're working this hard to get this design and she's just going to put a lattice in there. And then in the end, I asked her, now do you think it would look the same? It wouldn't. It just doesn't have the same look. Okay, look. I'm back to the first one. One, two, three, four. So then all that you have left is to square these bl blocks up. And with this little 10-inch block, you square it with... A uh, fussy cut. Do you have it already? Okay, I'm hurrying. Ta -da! Okay. So, oh look, we have the iron back. Okay, so you can set the seams and just go right down through the middle and press them very carefully. Ta -da! Pretty good. This is one. I'm not going to cut them apart until I lay them back out. <laughs> Two. Three. And four. So did you get confused or are you still with me? If you got confused, don't answer. <laughs> I like to flip them over and do it on the back side too. Whoa, I really got it wrinkled, huh? Okay. Are you ready, Teresa? Yep. Okay. So you want to show what you did with your ruler? Oh. You did it already. Sure. I just line it up in, um, in the, where the lines are, and I put my half an inch. Oh, I have to go away from the green. I put a half an inch on my, uh, on my line, and then I put the bisagrid on it. See it? Right outside. Because the center, it is one and a half, so from the outside edge of my bisagrid to the outside edge, it's one and a half. Mm. And that's what Eleanor is going to go and trim it on, you know? So um, I just had to have something to line it up there. That's what I did. Okay, and then you just kind of like center and then um, there it go. See? There you go. Hmm? Oops. Something oh, you like want that? Yeah. Nope. Ooh. No, it has to be a pinwheel. Um, oh, the picture is right there. You did the oh. bottom, right? So it's the yellow in the, that one. There we go. You did good, Elle. There we go. It's <gasps> this one. I was getting yeah. nervous for a minute. <laughs> yes, it's this part here. And then, yep, this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the lines are to help you get this squared up. It is a five and a half inch fussy cut ruler and you just line up the seams. Try to get the center point on the fussy cut right in the middle of the strip and straight along the, the lines. 
make sure that you can get the point right in the center. It's looking good, huh? Yeah. I think so. I think it's looking really good. And just trim on two sides. This is the first time I use this rotating mat, and it's kind of fun. This is made by OmniGrid, and a lot of the rotating mats are not very stable and wiggle all around, and I think this is the most stable mat that I have ever found. So I liked it. it you just rotate it around there. Yeah. Oh, it's got fingers. Yeah. yeah, it's got fingers. It's got little holes, and so you can just spin it. And it's quite simple on the um, back side, too. So that's going to go right in place, like so. Let me show you the back of it. It's simple, but it works. And getting something that works is really nice, really, really fun. All right, so that's the block in multicolors. And that's the magic show. Thank you. Woo! <laughs>